Do you want a second monitor for your computer, but your current budget doesn't allow for it? Or maybe it's just a temporary situation where you just need a monitor just for a little presentation or something. Well, I can tell you, you probably have that monitor at home without you even knowing. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use a tablet like this one, like this one right here, and turn it into a monitor so you can have your computer displayed on this without having to spend all that money and it's so easy just stay tuned let's start by setting up the android device first for the android device i'm using a samsung galaxy s7 plus but this will work with any samsung tablet running one ui 3.1 and above as a matter of fact this will actually work with a samsung phone so you have a galaxy s21 or s20 s10 it should work as long as it's running one ui 3.1 and above you can verify what version of One UI you're running by going to settings. So you scroll down, go to this gear icon, settings, scroll all the way to the bottom and choose about tablet all the way at the bottom. So about tablet to my right here, you see software information, choose software information. And then at the top, you'll see what version of One UI you're running. This tablet is running version 4.0. And you can also see your Android version right here. So let's get out of this and move on to how you turn this on. Next, we're going to pull down the shade at the top and pull down a second time. Then on my device, what I'm looking for is on the other page. I swipe across to the left and we're looking for second screen right here. So if you don't see it on any other pages, you can choose this icon here. So choose that and you should see it at the top up here um, I'm gonna put my back up so you can see it so let's bring it there you can just drop it right there so what you do is press hold see I can't move it now because I'm holding on the screen and you just drag it to wherever you want it and then hit done so to turn it on you're gonna hit second screen and then you should see this come up you can choose here right here video for smoother playback if it's just a video you want to watch or drawing or gaming um i tend to choose it, it don't matter from what i see for my device it never mattered so i just leave it on video for smoother playback and you're going to leave your um tablet on this screen do not um, get off the screen then you're going to move over to the windows so join me on the windows computer next so on my left here my tablet this is just an extension of this. This monitor is just an extension of this um, laptop here, and my laptop is here. So you need to have your tablet and your computer, your laptop, because it also can be a desktop with wireless or whatever network connection. They need to be on the same network. So right now, they're both connected to my wireless, which is CSA Tech 5G. Um, so now you go to Windows keyboard, Windows key, and K, it brings up this dialog here. And as you see, it picked up a lot of other TVs. Um, but my, what I'm looking for is my S7 Plus. So I just click on it and it's gonna connect. If you pay attention to that, you see the connection there, screen change, now Windows is over there. So in the lower part here, allow mouse, keyboard, touch and pen input. If you do that, if you click check this box, right? Now I can do this, see? Whatever I do here, I can touch the screen. And open, see, open right there. Oh, did you all notice something too? Now I have three monitors, not two. So I can drag this notepad here to this window. I can drag it to the left, all the way over here, right? So there you go. It's as easy as that. Um, the other thing is, if you go in, if you right click on your desktop, you can go to display settings and you can actually rearrange your monitor. So you identify the monitors, look one, two, three. So one, two, three, right? So this is number three, let me identify, identify again. Number three is this, number two, number one. I, you can actually rearrange them. So let's say your tablet was on your right hand side. You can rotate this and bring it over here. So when you scroll, when you try to move your mouse pointer, 
you'll have to apply right here when you try to move your mouse pointer now see i can move to here to my see my pointer right here i can move to here but i can't no, i can no longer go here i have to go all the way over here then i can you see my it comes up right there my pointer is right there so you can rearrange them if you your desk is not set up as mine so i'm going to bring it back over because mine is set up this way apply all right so Oh, and you, you know you can bring it on top too. If you have a Windows, you can bring it on top. You can bring it wherever, rearrange it wherever. Um, so if I want to open Firefox, I'm doing Firefox here. So open Firefox. I can just drag it there. I'll have Firefox going there. See that? I can go to YouTube and play YouTube from this computer. Whatever it is, see? It's working over there. That's me just using my mouse. You see my finger moving here. And I can just go through any video here. All right, minimize. I can also actually open a program using again this. So I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna open Adobe. You shouldn't see what I'm looking at in Adobe. There, that came from my tablet right here. So this works. And again, I can drag across to here, drag across to here. So now I have three monitors. So if you like what you see and what I'm doing like subscribe share comment i want to hear what you guys feel about having to just use your tablet as a monitor instead of buying an expensive monitor or if you have two screens as i did with these two now i have a third one so what do you think about it let me hear what you have to say in the comments below so this is chris again have a good day or night thank you